Now, uh, this question was asked in gate 2014, and in this question, they are saying int f is a function, okay, and in this function, they are taking integer j, and then there is a static variable i, which is storing the value of 50, okay, and then they are taking a integer k, so let us suppose this is the integer k, and then taking if i is double equal to j, that means is the value of i and the value of j are equal, right? The value of i is 50. So if these values are equal, then we are going to print this statement, and then we are going to do this uh, uh, recursive statement again. Okay, that means we are going to pass the value of i to this function. Okay, and here the value of i is 50. Right, so we are going to pass the value of 50, and when when we'll, we will be passing the value of 50 when the value of j is 50. That means if the user is passing the value of 50, then only we are going to call this function recursively again and again. Right, that means if the user has passed the value of 50 for the vari variable j, right, so we have called this function f of 50. In that case, we are uh, we are in that case only we are going to uh, this. Is, this statement will be executed only once, so there will be a variable i which is storing 50. Then this statement will be executed because then there will be a variable k which is not storing anything. Then uh, if i is equal to j, so i will be j is equal to j. Therefore, we are going to do print this uh, printf statement something. So it is going to print something, okay. And after that, we are going to make this recursive call, okay. Now, if in this recursive call, we are again passing the value 50. Right. So when we are again passing the value 50, that means all these statements will be executed again. And again we are going to pass the value 50. Then all these statements will be executed again. Then again we are going to pass the value 50. Then all these statements will be executed again. Okay. That means this program is going into an infinite loop. Okay. But in this case, the infinite loop is calling is calling this function is calling itself. So just remember this because we are going to cover this in the chapter of stacks. So whenever we do a recursive call, these recursive calls are stored in the form of a stack, and stack needs some space in the memory. So if initially we called in uh, f50, then this f50 is now going to make one more recursive call, then it is going to make f50, then it is again going to make one more recursive call, then it is going to make f50, it is again going to make some one more recursive call, then it is going to make f50, and it is again going to make one more recursive call, and it is going to do this again and again infinite number of times until the computer memory is completely full. Okay. Now let us see what other options they are saying. Which one of the following is true? The option number A: the function returns zero for all values of j. Right? No, this function is not returning zero for all values of j. So this function is returning zero only when the value of j is not equal to fifty. Okay. So when the value of j is equal to fifty, this function is not going to return zero. It is going into an infinite loop. Therefore, this option number A is wrong. Then in the option number B, they are saying the function prints the string something for all values of j, right? So when does this function is going to print uh, something? So this is going to print something only when the value of j is 50, right? Not all values of j. So this statement is also wrong. And then the statement number C, they are saying the function returns 0 when the value of j is equal to 50, right? So when the value of j is equal to 50, the program will execute this statement. The, then the program will execute this statement and by after executing this statement is again going to this statement because it is a recursive call. So it will come to this statement then again it is going to that statement, it, is, it will come to this statement then again it is going to that statement that means the program is going to an infinite loop therefore we are not going to execute the return uh, 0 statement. So it is not going to return 0 in this case and the option number D is the function will exhaust the runtime stack or run into an infinite loop when j is equal to 50. Right, so this is correct because it will it is running into an infinite loop and it is it will exhaust the runtime stack. Okay.